Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, first of all, Happy New Year. I uh, really hope that you guys had a wonderful uh, holidays and that you had a great year. And this is going to be the first video of 2020. And i um, really excited about what's going to come up this year. But uh, I wanted to start with, um, with a very simple tutorial just to show you um, one of the uh, uh, kit that um, 3D kit that I that I got on my store. Um, I created a, uh, a set of images uh, using this kit, but this is one of them, and uh, this is gonna be sort of like a time lapse for um, how I created this image. But first, I want to show you what the kit is, and uh, this is a very simple um, sort of like Japanese um, walls and, and roof tiles that I created. Um, I wanted to create some images. Um, inspired by the um, anime Ronin Kenshin, which is probably my all-time favorite. And uh, um, I wanted to create a kit to create some images uh, based on that. Uh, but I think also, you know, uh, I wanted to create something that could be practical for future uh, projects. And so uh, this is sort of like the kit. Uh, you will get you know, uh, 4K textures, we'll get all this as a Blender file or OBJ or FBX. And also, um, uh, you will also get like a little tutorial on how I created the image. But you got some grounds here with the textures, um, some stone walls and lower walls, and um, and obviously the, uh, the roof tiles. Now for the roof tiles, um, what I did was, oops, so many here. What I did was I created a few versions. This is sort of like the high poly one with has all the sculpt details. And this is a more decimated one for sort of like mid range uh, view. Like if you're this far away, um, the details on both are sort of like the same. And then um, you get sort of like a simple one without those uh, front details in there. And uh, another one just to fill up, you know, some of the other areas. So. Um, if you go to one of these walls here, you'll see that the details are on the front. And then this one's on the back are just the simple ones just to kind of create the pattern and, and that sort of thing. So depending on what you want to do, um, you want to use the high poly or the low poly. Uh, for this image, I, of course, use the high poly for uh, the closest ones here because we're going to be so close. And then for this ones on the back are just uh, simple ones. But um, yeah, this is a kit, and uh, you can actually get this at my R Station store or my Gum Road, and uh, you will also get that with a tutorial, and and that way you can you know you can use it to create you know whatever you want with it, and you got some trees and plants and, and weeds and, and grass, uh, some different walls with gates, and of course uh, roofs with the corners, and um, and you know this is sort of made so you can actually just you know grab this and just sort of like duplicate it to create, you know, longer walls and and however you want to build the walls up, but um, very simple to use. All right. And so let's go to the image here. And this is the final image. And I'm going to show you what the render looks like, which is this right here. And you're going to see that uh, this area up here is sort of like um, it's not there. So um, I sort of extended the canvas a little bit after I did the render because I wanted to have uh, my um, sort of like my third line uh, of the rule of thirds being on the top of the line here of the rooftop. And so I had to extend the canvas for that to happen. And I, of course, um, you know, um, usually I do all my color grading first and then I start painting all that. Uh, all the details and stuff, but uh, this is a very simple uh, shot, so it really didn't take long. I think it uh, overall it just took me like one hour to take from from my render to to this, and so it's it's very 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 simple. Now, in in the case of animation, if this was a shot, um, everything water related here will be of course animated, so it, you know I would have to paint it, and so. Uh, it will have taken me even less time to do it if it, if this was actually for uh, a piece of animation or anything like that, uh, since the water was going to be animated. But, um, but yeah, and I also did uh, something very subtle, but I think it helps a ton, is that, um, I don't know if you noticed, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, uh, but 
if I do a straight line here on the render, the roof tile top, like the top part is like a very straight line going from horizontally. So I wanted to push out a little bit more. And what I did, I used the warp, um, the warp settings here in Photoshop just to kind of make sort of like a U um, shape, just to kind of push that perspective or even a little bit more, just to make it a little bit more dynamic, as well as you know blurring out some of these edges and just sort of like have everything sharp here on this area where I want the focus. And then anything else will be sort of like blurred out um, just to kind of give um, that more dynamic uh, feel to it. And so, yeah, so I'm going to let this play. I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, if you want to get the full tutorial on this and the trade kit with it, um, you know, feel free to visit my, my, <coughs> excuse me, my r station store or my gone road. And uh, that way you can get that over there. If not, feel free to enjoy this little tutorial. Enjoy.
Bittersweet heat is suffocating. I'm waiting and always hesitating. Kryptonite desires set my heart afire. Heart on fire. Set my heart afire. I'm not afraid. 